Titanic Monarch Zone. Hey guys, welcome up to my Let's Play Nobody of Sonic Mania. We are... Dear God. This is like my fifth or sixth time going through Titanic Monarch Zone. I... I have died so many times on this friggin' goddamn good-for-nothing level. I literally want to tear my hair out. Again. I should, I should, I should get that on a shirt. I literally want to tear my hair out. I really should get that on a shirt. I literally want to tear my hair out. That sounds like something. Oh God. If I'm ever in a position where I can have a T-shirt made, even for myself, I'm gonna have that on my. I'm gonna have that put on my T-shirt. I literally want to tear my hair out. You stupid jet blowing turtle thing. Screw you. So one of the things that you might notice about Titanic Monarch Zone, if you watched my last Let's Play or are just familiar with Sonic 3 in general, it borrows a lot of elements from the uh, special stages, doesn't it? Like, a lot of elements from the special stages. It also borrows a lot of elements from the Death Egg Zone from Sonic 3, and it borrows a lot of elements from... I guess atmospherically, I feel like it borrows a lot of elements from Sonic Heroes with uh, just how dark everything is. I get a very Final Fortressy vibe to this particular level. Also, weirdly enough, the music, it's really good, but it reminds me of um, Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. If you ever played that game and you happen to have a working knowledge of anything in that game at all, and you remember the challenge zone. Um, the first challenge that you fought was a dude who had two dungeon worms. I think it was the beast tamer. I think is what it was. The beast tamer and two dungeon worms. Anyway, um, the theme that he had when this, uh, when the theme for Titanic Monarch Zone hits its, uh, chorus, it really gives me that... It really gives me those uh, same vibes. That very grandiose, over the top, kind of mysterious. It really kind of hits that same note for me. Like. Not that I'm complaining or anything, it's just. It's really odd, because it my ears don't. It, it, this does not sound like a Sonic song. To me. I guess. I don't know. Not that, the, not that it's bad, but it sounds a little... It sounds a little too overdone for a Sonic song. I guess. Granted, a lot of this game, the gimmick in it is that it's overdone. You know, the sprites are really overdone. It's all got a lot of wall, uh, spit and polish on it, and a lot of elbow grease went into the fine details of this particular game. It looks really nice, the animations are really fluid. <laughs> the sprite work is just stunning. So I guess I can kind of understand why the music is so over the top, but I guess it's a little too over the top for me. Like, I don't mind over the top Sonic music, but there's a way to do it. And this just kind of feels a little too orchestral. Like, I'm not even a big fan of a lot of the orchestral themes. The, I, I really hate to say it, but really the best orchestral song that I've heard was uh, in the Sonic series was Solaris Phase 2. And that had a very uh, rock-heavy tone-ish to it, too. But then again... You know, if you listen to His World, you hear that song over and over and over and over and over. So, I guess I've just kind of Stockholm Syndrome to it at this point. Annoying as that song can get. And however however many damn remixes of that song are in that game. It's fucking nuts, man, I tell you. I don't know how people can actually do playthroughs of that game. I would kill myself. I'd hang myself with... I... 
No, screw it. I would find a way to stick my neck through the CD and choke myself out with it. I, I physically could not do it. I would I would die. I would die of frustration. I would lose my shit so quickly. I wouldn't even be fast the fourth loading stage. Cause it, I own the game, I know. I know. I actually own it. <laughs> Cause uh, I'm a hoarder. I don't really get rid of anything. Hell, I still have copies of Roller Coaster Tycoon and Hot Wheels Mechanics. I still have uh, all the really old Lego games. Like Lego Racers and Lego Racers 2. Yeah, for all you kiddies who happen to be watching this, Lego actually made games of their own IPs. Long before they started doing IP ports of Star Wars and Indiana Jones. And what's the hot thing now? Marvel superheroes. I guess. I don't know. I kind of stopped following Lego after the third Lego Star Wars. And not Lego Star Wars 3, the complete collection. I stopped playing after I got the complete collection. Which I might do a playthrough of because I have it on Steam. I like Lego Star Wars. I like Legos. I like Star Wars. This, it seems like it would make sense. So, now that we've taken out this very familiar face, let me explain. So you might recognize the uh, boss that we just fought as the boss from Launch Base Zone from Sonic 3, and you would be right. However, his second form seems a little different, though, is on it? He doesn't have those uh, spike platforms that he was throwing at us, and he doesn't have that giant laser that he shoots out of his uh, um, robot behind. Instead, he floats and controls gravity and has two arm cannons that fire a series of blaster balls at a 45 degree angle and they bounce off the walls and the floor. So yeah, not as deadly. It doesn't even have the giant laser beam anymore. Although, if we're being honest, he kind of loses his whole deadly factor after the first time you, after you defeat his first form. This is definitely not a boss that gets stronger with his second form. Instead, he actually gets a lot weaker. But with that, we happen to clear this in seven minutes. That's a minute and 30 seconds off my last time. Who knows, maybe we'll finish act two in this recording. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, take note, people. Lego faces are built into this place, and they are everywhere. You can't tell me that that red and green little block, or that yellow block with the red and green eyes and the mouth does not look like a pixelated Lego face. It just, it's the first thing I thought of when I saw it, and I can't get it out of my head, and you will never convince me otherwise. This game is invaded with Lego faces. Also, I'm trademarking that and copywriting that. I came up with it. I'm recording this August 31st, so. If anyone else may have said that before this date, then we're gonna have fights. We're, we're gonna have words. We're gonna have words in an alley. I will fight you for that. I want the right to call them Lego faces and then to force everyone else to call them Lego faces. Oh fucking god damn it. I hate spikes. I hate tractors. I hate hospitals. I hate Francis. Uh, Left 4 Dead was a good game series. We need a third one. I don't care what anyone says. I really like Left 4 Dead. It's a really fun game if you're playing with your friends. But you have to be into the whole zombie shooter thing. And I can understand if you're not. But if you're looking for a good co-op experience, really, there's nothing better. Even today. Except maybe Destiny. But, uh... As I understand it, a lot of people like Destiny, but Destiny really bombed when it first released, so I don't know. I haven't played it. I watched a friend of mine play it, though. He really likes it. Also, hi, Jimmy! Just in case he's watching this. I don't know. I don't know what the chances of that are, but you never know. No! 
Tails, you bastard. Why can't you be good? Your father didn't beat you enough. He didn't use the belt. And you! Didn't your mother teach you it's not nice to point weapons at people that encase them in balls and don't let them move? They call that torture in some countries. Well, you know, I have to be honest, we're actually making good time. Haha! <laughs> he says right as he loses all his rings. And right before he dies. And I still don't know what the friggin' blue rings do! Well, that sucked. Am I even in the same one? I think I'm in the same one. Wait a minute, what's down there? Blue rings, I don't know what the blue ring does. And I only have two lives. Oh, uh, this is gonna be hell. I want that. No! Sad face. I sound so desperate. I feel desperate. And you know, I don't understand why I'm short hopping on those things. They clearly go up higher. More rings! Sonic seizure time! You need to be nicer! Be nice! I mean, I tried. And you need to stop throwing bombs at people. You'll poke someone's eye out. Hey! Bad! No! I feel like a... Rocky and Bullwinkle. No, Bullwinkle! From the movie. The animated movie that Nostalgia Critic liked that I can't stand. But... I don't like Rocky and Bullwinkle, so that's... You know, every... Uh, exposure I had to it was when I was a kid. When I didn't know much about it beyond the fact that I just didn't want anything to do with it. I want those. Yay, now I'm fast! Fast enough to lose all my rings at twice the speed. Fast, Rocket Sled Man, fast! That's not fast. Hey, we fit it! Or, we made it to the end. So, I don't know if I explain what this whole gimmick is about. But essentially, you see these rooms that I went through? You see how they're blocked off now? Each time, there's four teleports in this room. Each time you go through one of these teleports, you go into a specific room that's basically a maze and you have to get your way through it. When you get your way through it, you teleport back here and the room seals off. Once you get through all four, a portal will open and it'll take us to the final boss. And we're going on our third now. And I already have to clear the two that I hate the most, so... I take that as a good sign, actually. Well, right up until I did that. Also, I'm really interested to find out what the hell those robots that Eggman built or made that he's commanding are all about. The ones that look like the Axum Rangers, but aren't the Axum Rangers because that would be uh, copyright. Oh no, giant tuning fork, giant electric tuning fork. No. That is, that is, that is not the way we wash our clothes. No. No. That works. Uh, maybe we can get enough rings to actually get an extra life. Maybe. I can hope. And dream. I know it's not going to happen, but I can still do these things. One last room to go. Okay. We can do this. Okay. 
Oh man, you guys don't understand. This has literally been kicking my ass. My every ass. Yay! Nope. I'm out of your range, buddy. Can't hit me now. And now we have three lives, so maybe things will be good. Maybe we'll actually win this time. God, what an accomplishment that would be. That would make me happy. Eesh, that hurt. Okay, let's go up. Up, up. Uh, no! So close. No! No! Eggman took all my rings. Eggman came and took my rings. Oh boy. No! No! Stop, th stop doing that. That's not the way we do things. There we go. No! No! Not cool. Not cool, man. Not cool. Cool. Okay. I'm okay with that. The way things have gone now, they don't disappoint me entirely. I think we go that way. Yep. Nope. Wait. That looked like a thing. What is that? That is an invincibility thing. No. Cool. Now we're gonna go this way. Oh, let's take as much advantage of being invincible as we can. Because I'm gonna need it. Oh man. This has been such a pain in my rectum. Hey look! The end! And now we move on to the boss fight. Oh man. Alright, hey guys, nobody here. Uh, a little bit of post -com. So, the recording of Titanic Monarch Zone actually ran for half an hour and um, Ironically enough, it actually split up literally right at a good point, so we're going to just run through the act, and then we're going to take on the bosses in the next episode, so uh, stick around, and I'll see you there.